Nearly two and a half million people have escaped Ukraine since this invasion began, according to the United Nations. That's just the start of what's expected to be a big, big wave. And tonight, J.D. Miles shows you the surge of refugees who could soon be coming to the United States and to Texas. Downtown Dallas is lit up again tonight in the blue and yellow colors of the Ukrainian flag. North Texas could soon be offering more than just symbolic gestures of support in the form of a new place to live for a significant number of Ukrainian immigrants. A ship carrying thousands of Ukrainians who braved rough seas and freezing cold made it to Romania on Friday. The men, women and children add to the 2.3 million Ukrainians who have already flooded into neighboring Eastern European countries. How can we not open up our borders? I mean, Europe just can't swallow that many. And University of Texas at everybody. Dallas global policy professor Jesse Hansen DeFusco says the U.S. and especially Texas need to start preparing to let some of them in since other states recently absorbed a high number of refugees from Afghanistan. Like D.C. and New York, they're just at capacity. And Texas really has a history of taking on so many refugee populations. She believes the total number of refugees from the war will eventually reach 10 million. As combat zones widen, more Ukrainian cities are likely to evacuate, according to the professor, who says North Texas should look at it as an opportunity. The human capital that we could get from just inviting them to be a part of our already growing economy would be beautiful. She also says it will be up to Homeland Security, but believes we could see Ukrainian immigrants start arriving in April. In Dallas tonight, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. Today,